Hello students, this is your teacher. Welcome back to another remote adventure. In today's lesson, I will continue our conversation about our daily routine. Shall we start? Guys, I have already presented to you some activities we do every day. But what other activities can we do every day? Let's take a look. Use my cell phone. Use my cell phone. How often do you use your cell phone? Teacher, I sometimes use my cell phone. Guys, these are the adverbs of frequency. They indicate the frequency we do an activity. So, when I do an activity 100% of the time, it means I always do this activity. When I do an activity 80% of the time, it means I usually do an activity. When I do an activity 60% of the time, it means I often do an activity. When I do an activity 30% of the time, it means I sometimes do an activity. But when I, do an, when I don't do an activity, 0% of my time, it means I never do an activity. Now let's take a look at the examples. Use my cell phone is the vocabulary. And whenever I ask how often, I'm asking about frequency. How often do you use your cell phone? I sometimes use my cell phone. It means that this person only uses the cell phone 30% of the time. I sometimes use my cell phone. Now take a look here at my example with Batgirl. How often does Batgirl use the cell phone? Oh, she sometimes uses the cell phone. She sometimes uses the cell phone. So what, with what frequency does Batgirl use her cell phone? Sometimes. So that is the frequency. She sometimes uses the cell phone. Another everyday activity, watch TV and series. Watch TV and series. How often do you watch TV and series? With which frequency do you watch TV and series? Oh, I usually watch TV and series. I usually watch TV and serious. It means I do this 80% of the time. Usually, I usually watch TV and serious. And how often does Homer watch TV and serious? Oh, he watches TV series usually. He usually watches TV series. Another activity, play games. Play games. How often do you play games? Oh, I always play games. It means I play games 100% of my time. How often do you play games? Exercise. How often do you exercise? I never exercise. I don't do this activity. Guys, it's time for our review. In this lesson, we are talking about our daily routines. But how do we express that in sentences in English? Well, to talk about our routine and habits, we are going to use the simple present tense. The simple present tense is used 
to express in English our routine and our habits. Take a look at those sentences. I wake up at 7 a.m. I study in the morning. I have lunch at noon. All of these sentences are in the simple present tense and all of them express routine and habits. In other words, things we do every day. Take a look. I wake up at 7 a.m. I'm talking here about something that I do every day. So every day I wake up at 7 a.m. I study in the morning. So over here, I'm talking about a habit of mine. I study in the morning. I do this a lot. I have lunch at noon. Over here, I am expressing something that I do every day. I have lunch at noon with he, she, and it. We are going to add s to the verb. Take a look at those sentences here. She wakes up at 7 a.m. She wakes up at 7 a.m. We don't say she wake up. We say she wakes up. He studies in the morning. He studies in the morning. We don't say he study in the morning. We say he studies in the morning. She watches TV series. She watches TV series. Over here, we have a sentence with she. So, she watches TV series. Pay attention to this, okay? Another thing. In the negative form of the simple present tense, we use do not or the contraction don't or does not or the contraction doesn't and the verb take a look at the sentences she doesn't wake up at 7 a.m she doesn't wake up at 7 a.m my sentence is in the negative form so if I'm making a negative sentence in the simple present tense, I'm going to use the auxiliary verb doesn't for he, she, and it. And if I am using the auxiliary verb, I'm not going to put S to the ending of the verb. She doesn't wake up at 7 a.m. Take a look at my example with don't. I don't study in the morning. For I, you, we, and they, I'm going to use don't to make the negative. But teacher, do I have another way to make a negative sentence in the simple present? No way, guys. We always use the auxiliary verbs don't for I, you, we, and they and doesn't for he, she, and it to make sentences in the simple uh, present tense, to make negative sentences in the simple present tense, okay? So we don't say she not wake up, we say she doesn't wake up. We do not say I am not study, we say I don't study. So whenever I make a sentence in the simple present, I'm going to use do not or does not. Guys, we can also ask questions using the simple present tense. To ask questions, we use do, does, a pronoun, a name, or an object, and the verb. Take a look. Does she wake up at 7 a.m.? Do you study in the morning? What are the important details over here? We start our question with the auxiliary verbs do and does. 
if I'm asking a sentence with he, she, or it, I'm going to use thus. Thus, she wake up at 7 a.m. But if I'm asking a question with I, you, we, and they, I'm going to use do. Do you study in the morning? So persons, whenever we are asking questions in the simple present tense, we are going to use the auxiliary verbs do and thus, the pronoun, name, or an object, and the verb with no conjugation. Does she wake up at 7 a.m.? Do you study in the morning? Okie dokie. All done. Now I have two more missions for you guys. Go back to our Google Classroom and write a paragraph about your daily routine. And after that, go to Flipgrid and record a magical video about your routine. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.